Hi people, welcome to Miranisa's Many Moments. I'm Miranisa and I'm so happy that you're here. Today, I will be introducing a new series on my channel that features one of my many moments. Laundry. Why laundry? It's simple. I think that laundry contains several metaphors about life because very much like laundry, life can feel like a never-ending cycle of trying to figure things out. And as long as you're alive, you're going to have laundry. And then there's me, a talkative with hundreds of thoughts on a new pile of laundry each week. So in this series, we are going to fold away the clothes, have a conversation. And so, if you're watching this and you have a pile of laundry that needs to be done, bring it out. Let's fold together and then let's talk. Welcome to episode one of Life and Laundry. Let's get into it. Um, I would have loved to have a cup of tea with me as we have this conversation, but unfortunately I drank it all filming the intro. Man, it took really long filming the introduction because there's construction going on upstairs and it's really noisy. And if it gets noisy in this video, that's why. So, no tea, but lots of conversation. Okay. In the past week, um, my social media has been filled with updates about the passing of Twitch from the Ellen Show, the DJ. And it's rather sad how he chose to go. And honestly, like it kind of hit me hard because his narrative is very similar to mine. Um, I'm a happy-go-lucky person. I'm constantly dancing. I have a really good life. But then I have also been in the place where I wanted to off myself, you know, because life was really hard and life was really stressful. I mean, it wasn't that hard if you were compared to other people's problems, but for me it was. And I think it's important to understand that people have different um, thresholds of what they can um, tolerate. And to be honest, for me, I'm, I'm a soft life person, so any small stress overwhelms me. But this, honestly, this conversation is not about like me getting overwhelmed or all the times I felt of offing myself. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can laugh now. Um, but it's more so the aftermath of like what, like what happens when news like this comes up, when you hear of public figures or celebrities who are dealing with mental health problems or mental health challenges or when um, the conversation about, you know, offering yourself comes up. Generally, I've been seeing a lot of, you never know what anybody is going through, check with your strong friends, mental health is real, mental health in the black community is real, men, check on your mental health, check on your male friends, you know, like all of these conversations, and it happens so often, like it, it will happen again, in the future when another person decides to go in similar fashion and it would the conversation still starts and to be honest like yeah we never know what anybody is going through but we know that people are human and we know that we are human and we know that being human is like really stressful human emotions are really complex um dealing with emotions is really hard it's not easy for any single person navigating through especially negative emotions like anger frustration overwhelm it's really hard for anybody so it doesn't need to take a public figure passing for you to start doing these reminders of we need to be kind like you have to be kind regardless and we've always known that mental health is real mental health conversations are real but um have you actually even made an effort as a person to somewhat like advocate for mental health like not everybody can be a mental health advocate i understand that but we need we, we also have a part to play in some ways you know not everybody can be a mental health advocate but you're only comfortable sharing anything about mental health because it regards a celebrity like what happened all year round you never once shared a post about mental health you never once shared a post about being there for your friends and then suddenly some stranger passes and then you now remember you have to do these things and i mean i'm glad i'm glad that people are doing that now but i think that it's something that needs to happen all year round 
we like all of a sudden everybody has these social media posts that they want to make and the press if you know me and if you know me in person you know that i'm really expressive about like my feelings my emotions i'm very open about them and i think that by getting open i have learned how to identify all the different emotions that i have so i know when it's sadness i know when it's anger i know when it's frustration i know when it's overwhelmed but even with that the times when i have posted on my social media i have received one or two comments from people telling me i share too much on my page and then these same people are suddenly sharing too much about men mental health and it's like it's a very frustrating um thing cycle it's a very frustrating cycle because essentially like we only care about people when it's celebrities and suddenly we know that we're supposed to be kind and suddenly we know that we have to check on our friends and suddenly we know that people are going through things like no like we've always known but what have we done about it and i think that like the more we somewhat be honest um to our communities to our people and validate their feelings indirectly or directly when i say indirectly like in as much as like you might not be speaking to the person directly telling them hey i'm there for you sometimes just by virtue of what you say what you post on your social media the kind of jokes you're liking the kind of comments and tweets you're retweeting they can tell whether you are validating their own struggle so you know if i'm if i'm posting about like this week was hard you know, there's, that, there's this other person who is not quite comfortable sharing on their page that the week was hard or sharing with other people that the week was hard. But then they see that another person had a hard week and they don't feel so alone, you know. And honestly, I think that we should do more than just the social media posts. We should do more than writing narratives and paragraphs about how this person you could you would never know what they were going through because they had a good life they had a four million dollar mansion they had this they had that they had this they had that you know it doesn't matter i mean let me just say this so that there's no like misunderstanding i completely understand the sentiment behind you know the statements of um you never know what anybody's going through. I completely understand the sentiment of like mental health awareness. And I think it's really good that the conversations have been started. But even though we don't know what anybody is going through, which is a true fact, another true fact is that we are humans. And we know what humans are going through because we are human. You know, emotions are really complex. Nobody gets taught how to deal with it. You just have to figure it out. And people don't even know how to name their emotions. And if you can't name it, how are you going to address it, frankly? You know, so don't only be kind to people because they might be dealing with something. Be kind to people because life is hard. And everybody is stressed and everybody is dealing with their own shit silently or loudly. But everybody is dealing with something. Check on everybody. Check on your friends. What are you doing? For the people that you're directly connected with, what are you doing for your family, your friends, even the rich ones who seem to have life figured out, have good parents, even the ones you think haven't struggled as much as you or as other people. You know, like, because being human, man, is hard. It doesn't come with a manual. Emotions, again, very complex. Nobody talks about it. You know, as yeah we all have things that we are comfortable with like i'm comfortable being open about my emotions but not many people are and i know that just by being comfortable i am indirectly validating the feelings of other people and i know that that would not necessarily cause people to not be suicidal but we all have a part to play and like we all have a part to play let's do better i mean especially in conversations around mental health and mental health awareness let's not wait for some public figure to off himself before we start to show our friends that we are there for them or we start to um suddenly put out a bunch of social media posts you know 
because oh my mom gave me new shorts i send my laundry to my mom's man i cannot wash it oh this one's on youtube i was getting distracted for a bit but this brings us to the end of our first episode of laundry and life life and laundry i don't know i forgot the name of my own show but yeah <laughs> my laundry is folded away and so are my thoughts let me know in the comments below like what's the most difficult emotion for you to deal with for me it's very hard for me to deal with anger because i don't like feeling angry i feel like i'm very vulnerable when i'm angry i i <laughs> i sound like i'm going to cry and i feel like i'm not able to express myself properly when i'm angry so that's like one of the biggest emotions for me to deal with which one is yours if you're comfortable sharing comment it down below let me know what your thoughts on our first conversation is if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe because next week we'll be back for another chit chat um let me know did you get all your laundry folded i hope that you did because i'm done and i'm going to put this away if you're an old subscriber welcome i love you thank you for being here catch you guys next week bye